Now, when it comes to the aces of aerobatics, few would argue this pilot is among the top. Raising stuff indeed. Well, that's Svetlana Kapanina from Russia. She's known as the Siberian Angel and Queen of the Sky. She holds the world record as the most decorated pilot in international sporting aviation. Kapanina has been named the absolute world champion in aerobatics seven times and also holds 39 world champion titles. Going through her medal count can take a while. She's also conquered the World Air Games as well as both the European and Russian Championships. RT's Yugo Piskunov has been to meet Svetlana at an airfield in Western Russia. Suhoi is our swallow, our favorite plane. They say she's one of the best pilots of all time. She competed for the Soviet Union and then Russia's national aerobatics teams. But originally, Svetlana was interested in a different kind of adrenaline kick. I initially wanted to sign up for skydiving, but sign up for the planes instead. I didn't even know what aerobatics was or what planes I was going to have to fly, but I signed up. That's why I think it was just a ridiculous accident. One which shaped Svetlana's whole life. And all these years later, she's still hooked. Each training flight lasts about 20 minutes. That's how long it takes for the engine to consume most of the fuel. And that's more than enough to have a feeling of all those Gs. You're pushed to one side, then the other. Sometimes you hang on to the seat belts. If you go through negative G-force, you're sort of being pulled out of the cockpit. I think all of this has become such a major part of Svetlana's life. If she stopped flying, she'd die. But dealing with extreme acceleration is only one of the challenges. Potential malfunctions are an even bigger threat. During training for the World Cup, I was doing a routine, and suddenly one of the rotor blades came off, and then the rotor itself. One of the blades also pierced the wing. The rotor was tired of flying with me, so it flew away. She can joke about it now, but that incident had the whole team frozen with fear until Svetlana safely landed her plane without a working engine. But how difficult can all this be? This is the control stick. Pull it towards you. And the plane goes up? Yes or pitch up and dive, pedals left and right, ailerons around the longitudinal axis. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll probably need a few more lessons before climbing onto one of these things. We've seen some really impressive flying skills and I hope you liked them as well, but I think it's time to leave Svetlana alone now. She does have to practice that European Championship is coming soon and practice does make perfect. Igor Piskunov, RT near Moscow.